Welcome to the Summit Exchange. Today, Superintendent Joy Icano and Student Services Coordinator Kristen Nowak will be sitting down and chatting with Jeff Ferguson, Director of Administrative Services. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Summit Educational Service Center's Summit Exchange. My name is Kristen Nowak, and I am a Student Services Coordinator here at the ESC. And today, I am joined by... Joe Icano, Superintendent, Summit ESC. Welcome, Jeff. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Kristen. <laughs> So, Jeff, tell us a little bit about, so you're new here at the ESC, but you've been in education for quite some time. So tell us a little bit about your, your new role here and where, you, where you've come from before joining the ESC. Well, thanks, Kristen. Uh, so my new role here is the Director of Administrative Services. Uh, one of the projects that I'm uh, working on currently is the Emergency Aid for Non-Public Schools. Uh, some people call it, or it's known as the INS funding, and so if you didn't know what that stands for, now we know. Uh, and, and so I'm, I'm working on that project in helping those non-publics uh, expend o almost eight and a half million dollars uh, here in Summit County for those schools from uh, the federal government. So we're working on that. Uh, another big part of the job as uh, the Director of Administrative Services is to make sure that when uh, our partners uh, come into the building, we wanna make sure that it is uh, welcoming, safe, uh, and that their needs are met. And so our priority is kind of behind the scenes, making sure that our partnerships, whether it's coming here for training, coming here for any of the services, the wealth of services that we offer here, uh, making sure that when they come in, their needs are met and that, that they leave us feeling that we were a welcoming and then of course with COVID that we were this is a safe place. Jeff if you as you, if you would as you're talking about these duties I know you you've got an interest in doing a lot of things and interacting with the districts and some of the superintendents and uh, uh, while we're getting ready to, to make some trips out to districts I know you you've actually been going out to Waterloo schools doing something that you didn't happen to mention can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing there yeah absolutely uh, so also you, you know one of the big things that uh, at the ESC that I know uh, I always felt that that the ESC did a really good job in my 15 years as a superintendent in Talmadge uh, was leadership development, and, and I think it's just so important in education today, uh, where we are in public education, that, that we need to do uh, the best job that we possibly can in, in developing uh, educational leadership. And in, in that, uh, I'm out right now working with Waterloo, uh, new superintendent, uh, and so I'm, I'm working uh, with Angela now uh, and Tina. Dr. Dinklocker and I are both working on the strategic, helping Waterloo develop a three-year strategic plan. Great, great. Uh, I have a question as you reflect back on your career, Ian. Uh, I know you've been a coach. Uh, I know you've been uh, a principal, I believe. Was it in Coventry Schools, I think you said? And uh, obviously, I've known you as a superintendent. If you were to say that, that over those years, there's been a, a lesson or two uh, something that you've really learned that carries across these positions that you'd like to share. Can you tell us something about that? Yeah, I, I think uh, you know, that's, that's a great question, Joe. Uh, I think as I, you know, first of all, it was hard for me to believe I've been doing this 35 years. <laughs> Time flies. <laughs> so, <having> yeah, <laughs> uh, but then I think back to starting with a chalkboard and the internet was, I would say, something on the sci-fi channel, but that hadn't been invented yet either. So, uh, but I, I do think, again, that, that we have to remember we are in the people business. And the core of what we do is really, again, back to that leadership, you know, predominantly in my 35 years, the majority of my time has been in the leadership role. Whether I go back to the early 90s when I started as an assistant principal uh, at Talmadge High School, uh, to, to my uh, time as a building principal, and then again as, as a superintendent for the last 15 years. Uh, you know, we are in the people business, uh, whether it's K through 12, some of them are little people, some of them are a little bit bigger people, but basically uh, it's really about relationships. Mm -hmm. And when you are in the people business, it's really about the development of a relationship. And I really believe, I, I learned this a long time. It's actually, it goes back to my coaching days 
that, that people want the answer to three questions when you build a relationship. And I always try and, and remind myself as I'm, I'm here in a new role here, meeting a lot of new people that, that I really, I, I've worked with Kristen a little bit in the f last few years, but now I'm getting this opportunity to get to know Kristen. And, and so I, I, I would say, you know, my time here, I'm hoping that those three questions are one, uh, can you trust me? People need to know they can trust you. So how do you go about building that trust? Mm -hmm. Second question, do you care about me? You know, when you're in the people business, like people need to know you care. They're, they're, they're not, uh, if you're leading people, they need to know you care about them before they're, they're going to follow. And then that third thing is they, they want to know that you're committed to their personal excellence. And, and, and whether it's uh, teaching in the classroom uh, whether I'm, I'm, I'm working with a, an aide, a mm -hmm. teacher, an assistant principal, a superintendent, a board of education, they want to know that you are committed to making them the best that they can be because ultimately uh, that's going to lead to, you know, learning, higher level of learning for, for students, which is, again, back to the core of what we're at. So wow, that's great. Thanks. Thanks. So I didn't realize, I knew you were the town manager superintendent, but I didn't realize you were there for 15 years. It's a long time to be in a superintendency. So can you reflect a little bit of back on your background and why did you end up here at the ESC at this point in time? Yeah, so I, I, I think uh, my time, as, as you said, Christian, 15 years, long time, <laughs> sitting in last year, COVID felt like dog years. So. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what a way to go out. Yeah, right. <laughs> So that, that was a, uh, 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 STRS didn't see it that way, but, uh, so, so it, I, I think, you, you know, when I looked back, one of the very strong relationships that I felt we always had the support here, we're a small district, Talmadge, uh, you know, I used to joke with people, 14 miles square, every student we educated came from within the 14 miles small town. So a lot of the resources that we might not have been able to afford or provide for our, our students uh, wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for the ESC. And, and so I felt like, uh, you know, first of all, that relationship that had developed in, in my time, uh, I, I felt like this truly, I, I think Joe and, and yourself and, and the leadership here has really worked hard to develop kind of a servant leadership mentality here. And, and I feel like uh, the ESC's always met or exceeded my expectations when I was a superintendent, when, when we partnered in anything. And, and so when Joe said this opportunity to kind of come into this and be part of this team, I thought it really it, it fits with what I believe, uh, you know, that, that idea of servant leadership. And so I, I feel like it was a good fit for, for uh, myself. So I was excited that... Uh, the opportunity presented itself. Yeah, we're excited you're here. It is a great place to be. So tell us a little bit about, uh, we'll, we'll call them fun facts about yourself or maybe something we don't know about you or maybe we know and you'd like to elaborate on a little bit. Boy, fun facts. I don't know. I, I think uh, I, I enjoy my bike. I, I, I am an avid cyclist. I love, uh, nothing I like better than getting out on the road with my bike and, uh, putting miles in, I feel like uh, the solitude, uh, you, you know, again, being in the people business, there needs to be some time where you're not in the people mode, <laughs> for myself anyway, and I, I feel like, uh, you know, you know I've, I've done a little bit of running, and, and people tend to gravitate to putting headphones on, and all of a sudden you're in that music world when you run, and I don't feel like that's the solitude I'm looking for. And, and I feel like when I get on that bike, it's me and it's the bike. And, and, and so that, that's probably not real exciting, but it is, uh, it, it, it's really what I do to kind of decompress from uh, work. It's exciting to me and Patty Maloney because we both cycle too. So we're, you know, you're a kindred spirit. Here, right, so. absolutely. <laughs> So I was going to say, as we have a lot of individuals watching the Summit Exchange, is there anything out there that you would want anybody watching this to know about your role? Like if there was maybe somebody out there that may need to tap into your services that might not know that this opportunity is available? Yeah, I, I think definitely, uh, you know, again, I, I said 
a few minutes ago the, the importance of educational leadership and, and uh, leaders at, at every level in education, whether whether people want to develop their leadership skills as, as an aide, as, as a classroom teacher, as an administrator, central office. You know, I, I, I would say besides what it says on the door that I do, I, I believe that I had 35 years of an awesome experience because some really good people took the time to mentor me and, and when I asked questions they they, they took took the time and that, that meant the world to me that you know I, I can remember uh, Dr. Haschek was a superintendent at Green and his wife uh, the other Dr. Haschek was a superintendent at Jackson and so these are these two busy, busy people, and, and I was this young administrator that wanted to, to get better, and, and someone recommended, and, and they took the time, coffee, uh, and, and really helped me grow and think differently about the profession. So I, I would say that, you know, I hope people know uh, when you walk in the front door, my office is right there. I have an open door policy, and besides what it says that we do on the door, which we intend to do really well, uh, also I, I would always uh, be there to help people, you know, develop leadership skills when it comes to, to uh, education. Well, Jeff, we're really glad to have you here. I know the great work you did at Talmadge, and. Uh, uh, while I was not excited to hear that you were uh, retiring as superintendent because of the great work you did there, uh, having you here is a real opportunity to add add to the ESC. And really glad to have you here. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for the opportunity, Jill. Thanks, Thank you. Kristen. And thanks, everybody, for tuning in to the Summit Exchange. If you ever have questions about our services or Jeff's services here at the ESC, feel free to contact us. We'll put the information in the caption here. Um, and yeah, stay tuned. Follow us on all of our social media platforms to find out when we have our next Summit Exchange. Have a great afternoon.